welcome biologists to this session where we're going to be looking at different mechanisms involved in evolution. So first of all, we need to know what a species is. And a species is a group of organisms that can breed together to produce fertile offspring. For example, two tigers can breed together to produce fertile offspring, but a tiger and a lion cannot produce fertile offspring. Their offspring would be called a liger, which is not fertile. So now we know what a species is, we need to think about how speciation occurs, which is the formation of a new species through evolution. And what happens here is that members of the same population have become isolated. And within these different populations and any population, we will get mutations arriving, um, arising through genetic drift um, and just random, random mutations. And as a result, these mutations are passed on to their offspring, increasing in allele frequency over time. And as a result, the populations are no longer be able to breed together. And this occurs over many, many generations, which is a key thing here. Now, there are two ways in which this isolation can occur. Allopatric speciation, where there's a geographical barrier, and sympatric speciation, where there isn't a geographical barrier. Um, so allopatric is where we've got this a geographical barrier, it could be a mountain range, it could be a new road, it could be deforestation, but either way, the different populations will evolve differently due to different selection pressures. And a good example of this is the separation of the continents that all used to all be together on the continent of Pangaea. And over time, through continental drift, they separated out. Now, as a result of this, the common ancestors, ancestors of these populations here um, that therefore evolved to the different selection pressures and the different continents. And the wolf has uh, evolved into the common wolf that we know and also the Tasmanian wolf that now unfortunately is extinct. But we've got other examples, for example, the common mouse and the marsupial mouse. And all of these used to have the same common ancestor, which due to allopatric speciation has evolved into different species due to different selection pressures. Other, the other uh, isolation mechanism we need to know about is sympatric speciation. And this is where organis organisms have become separated due to barriers that are not geographical. And we'll look at some of those in examples now. So one example could be to different courtship behaviours. So for example, these birds here are birds of paradise from Papua New Guinea. There's some fantastic clips of these. And each of the birds, these beautiful birds, have adapted to attract their mates in different ways. So the bowerbird does a very strange funny dance. But as you can see, these both of these birds have beautiful colours and these colours will attract their females. So the female bowerbird would not be attracted to the Wilson's bird of paradise and vice versa. They have evolved to have different courtship behaviours and this is an example of sympatric speciation whereby over time we have different alleles emerging and therefore the species are no longer able to interbreed. Another example is a seasonal example whereby these different flowers here flower at different times. One flowers in the summer and the other in the winter. Therefore, they cannot interbreed and, has, and it therefore has resulted in different species. Other examples of this include um, different breeding seasons of, of in, and during the day, mechanical issues such as incompatibility of genitalia or incompatibility of gametes as well. Um, now, how to answer an exam question on this. So there are five things that you need to make sure you're including. And a way to remember this is I'm not supposed to. So isolation by whatever mechanisms that may be, sympatric or allopatric and what has caused that isolation. We then get a random mutation that's caused an allele to arise. Natural selection occurs, that we have different selection pressures on the different populations, and that over time, these changes in the populations have caused them to allow, not allow that interbreeding to take place. They cannot breed together to produce that fertile offspring. So there we have the different roles of isolating mechanisms in the role of evolution. So please remember that I'm not supposed to, to get all of your marks and good luck.